Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I have a really great video. I'm going to be using this set from Alta New. It's brand new called Dreamy Feathers, and it is gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to be showing you three ways to use this layering die set today. If you don't have this set though, I want you to see if you can try these methods and these techniques with any layering die sets that you have and just see if it works. I think this is gonna be really fun and so I'm up for the challenge. Let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these from the backer sheet and I'm going to lay out the different layers here and choose some cardstock colors to cut them from. All the layers here I've cut out of different colors. So the, the first layer here, which is the very back layer, I've cut out of a thick white cardstock and then I've got a blue layer. I cut this layer here out of a purple cardstock and then the very top layer out of a lavender cardstock. And all of these fit together. You can see how beautiful they fit together just like this. And this top layer goes over the top and it's gorgeous. Look at this. Then there's a center piece in, in there and I'm going to show you how to use that. What I like to do is take off the outer layer that cuts with that top layer and then you have kind of a frame around that piece. So I'm gonna show you and then the, there's these two little pieces as well that go in the center. I cut one out of glitter paper and the other that will go right on top. This I cut out of a blue. I think I'm gonna change my mind on that though, we'll see. And this is how this fits together. It's really quite ingenious how they did this. So there's so many great colors that you could use. You can use some glitter paper on some of the layers and it's just depends on what you wanna do with it. So I'm gonna cut this out a few different ways and show you how they layer up and then we'll go, get on to the techniques. So for this first one, I decided that the white was a little too stark. So I just took some ink, colored it up with some blues and now I'm going to layer them up. I'm just using some liquid adhesive for this. You could also use some double-sided adhesive on your dies, like Stick It, for example, but I never think of that when I'm die cutting, so <laughs> I just glue them together, and it's not too bad. This has some pretty large places to be able to glue that down, and I like to have the wiggle time, the wiggle room, so that I can move this around and fit it just perfectly over that background. Now I'll go ahead and add the next layer. This is the purple layer and see how easy it is. I'm just adding a small bead of glue all along the back of that. And this is gonna nestle right in. You'll see that it fits completely into place here. So there's that layer. And now I'll add the top layer. This top layer is definitely much thinner. So it's gonna take me a little bit longer to glue down, but it still wasn't that bad. I was able to do that. You could also use sticky dots, uh, those sticky dot sheets to adhere everything together. And I will show you that in, in a little minute. But this worked out just perfectly. So look at this, I'm just making sure it looks great. And now I'll just clean up a little bit of that glue with my magic wand here, no worries. And then we'll just add the center that I cut out of the lavender. I'm just gonna add that right to the middle. And then the glitter piece, of course, just like that. And here's my top piece that I'm going to fit right over the top. It's also cut out of glitter, but it is a turquoise glitter just to pull out some of those beautiful colors. Look at that. There we go. There's our first feather. I think this was designed so brilliantly so you can get different colors in your feather with very little work, it's so easy. All you have to do is choose the colors and cut them out, put them together. So let's try it a different way now. Let's try it using some of this patterned paper. This is a beautiful poured look on this paper from Alta New. I am going to cut the background of this feather with this beautiful poured acrylic paper. And then I'm going to cut the top portion and put that right over the top. So you're gonna get kind of a design in the background with the a bright, bold top piece. So this obviously uses only two of the layers. 
I'll also add that middle piece right back in and that'll give us some definition on that middle portion of the feather. So see here, I'm gonna use that same peach color of cardstock and inlay it right inside. And then I'm gonna use the gold glitter just for the center. So there's another option for you. Look at that, just using two layers of the same die. And it's really fun because you still get some interest in that background. You don't have to cut all the layers for this one, but it's still beautiful. So now I had another idea. We're gonna go ahead and take the back layer again, but this time coloring it up with some gorgeous colors of ink in a rainbow of colors. So I chose some of my favorite rainbow colors and I'm just going to ink all the way down this feather going in rainbow order. So you can see how easy this is. I'm just using a brush to put these on and that now we have our rainbow feather, just like so. There we go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and attach the top, this time cutting it out of white cardstock. That's gonna bring some brightness to it. Again, I'm gonna use that center portion as well. I really like adding that to the feather. So I'll go ahead and use some liquid adhesive for these parts as well, attaching that all together. And we're also gonna make a really awesome background for this one. So as soon as I'm finished putting together these different ideas, we will do some different cards as well. I've chosen some Altenew glitter paper from the Pink Brilliance collection. And this is gorgeous glitter paper. I love that there are different colors for you to choose from as well. And so I chose one of the bright pinks from that uh, collection and I'll add a gemstone right to the center. For this next one, I am using some gold paper. I took some of the gilded glitter paper and then also watercolor wash back for the background. Here's where I'm gonna use these sticky dots this works out really well when you have a small intricate layer to add. All you have to do is add it to the sticky dots, use the release paper to press that down, and when you pick it up, it will have those sticky dots all over the back so that you can place your die cut piece down and it will stick it down. So that's a really way, easy, fast way to use on an intricate die cut like this. I'm gonna do that on all the layers so let's do it again. There's still plenty of sticky dots on this sheet. I'll go ahead and place my piece down, take the release paper and burnish that on so that the sticky dots will then adhere to the piece. And then we'll add this one right in. So for this one, I'm going to be using all the pieces again, but in a different way, using some glitter paper as one of the layers. I think this turned out to be one of my favorites right here. So gorgeous. I'll just finish this up by attaching that top layer using some liquid adhesive. The reason I'm using liquid adhesive for this layer is because it has to adhere to that glitter paper because we use glitter paper as one of the layers. And I find that liquid adhesive really adheres down well when you're using any glitter paper. So that's why I decided to do that. You could try the sticky dots and add just touches of uh, liquid adhesive to make sure. I'm gonna add some gems in the center, but this time I'm gonna add three gems. And that will really step it up. Look at how pretty that's gonna look. So I'll add those with liquid adhesive. And now here is a look at some of our feathers. Look at this, now it's time to put these into cards. So for the first one, I'm gonna use the one that we've altered just a little bit, adding some glitter paper to one of the layers. And then for the background, I'm just gonna ink on some clouds. I've started off with some Welsh Dragon cardstock. This is a gorgeous color of cardstock. And then I'll just ink on some white pigment ink over a cloud stencil. This is really beautiful for a background, especially for a leaf. I really had in my mind that feather theme from the Forrest Gump movie. Do you know that? 
where the feather is just kind of floating in the air on its way down. <laughs> that was kind of the look I was going for. So I did get a little excess ink there. I just used my sand eraser to get that off. And now I'm going to attach the, the feather using some dimension. So I've got some gray paper here, and now I'm going to add three different layers of that background to my die to build it up with dimension. So this is gonna really pop off on the paper at you. I love how this turned out, it really is gorgeous. So just adding that last layer here with liquid adhesive, going to attach all of this together for my card now. There we go. There's our first card using glitter paper as one of the layers. So try this technique with your layering dies. Now for this one, I wanted to use this organic linen embossing folder and I'm gonna spray my paper first of all and here it is and it is gorgeous but I decided it wasn't quite right for this particular feather so instead I am taking some watercolor paper this is a uh, distressed watercolor paper I'm gonna use the same color inks as I did on the background blending them in but this time I'm going to add water down first in a little kind of line with my water brush then take that ink and just ink it over that water. Allow that to spread with the water so we get a really pretty watercolor look. There we go, that's gonna be perfect. And I'm gonna to continue to do this with all of the colors. I do allow it to dry just a little bit in between each layer, so we're not getting too much combination of the colors, but they do still merge together just a little bit, as you can see here. So just remember, put down the water first, then some of that ink, allow it to spread, and it's just a dreamy watercolor look. So we're gonna go on with all the colors here. I did dry it a little bit in between with my heat gun, and now I'll add that yellow layer. I'm not gonna show all of these because it's pretty much the same technique all the way down with all the colors, but here's how it looks when it's finished. And now I'm gonna take these watercolor brush markers. I removed that yellow ring from the center as you do when you get brand new markers. And then I'm gonna allow that ink to come right out the end of this watercolor brush marker. This is the black color that I'm using to splatter on some paint in the background. Now one thing I forgot to do was make sure this was completely dry. So some of that ink is starting to bloom a little and kind of merge out with the water. That wasn't really the look I was going for, but it's still pretty. And so now I'm gonna dry it, so hopefully that does not spread any further. So if you don't want your paint to spread, be sure to dry it in between all the layers. Now I'm gonna stamp this sentiment from the Sentiment Strip stamp set. It says, Make a Wish. I thought this was perfect for the feather theme. So I'm gonna stamp that on a couple of times. Now this is watercolor paper, so I do stamp it two or three times just to make sure that I get a good result because watercolor paper takes a little bit more work to get a nice, bold sentiment. Now I've built this one up as well with multiple layers, and now I'm going to add some of these beautiful gold baubles here all over that background. So this is another option for you to try. Try it in rainbow colors using a couple of layers of your layering dye and then add it to a painted rainbow background. So perfect. So here's my third idea for you and that's to create a stencil with one of the layers of your dye. So I'm using the background dye. I cut it out of some thick white cardstock and now I'm gonna use it as a stencil all over the background of my panel. I'm just gonna use some purple ink for this one and I have it in multiple layers. Now, now I've cut the top layer and I'm gonna attach this over the top of that stencil. So we've got a beautiful stenciled look with the top layer over the top and then I'll just trim off the edges here 
to make a beautiful panel and it was super easy to do. So it's really fun when you have layering dies. You can use one, two, or multiple layers of that layering die and you can create all kinds of different looks. Now this would be really fun too if you used that leaf as the stencil then used another stencil over that leaf stencil top so you get a design in your leaf. I just added a quick for you die cut from the Sweet Sentiment die cuts from Altenew and it turned out perfectly. There's also a hot foil plate of this that you can use and then cut that out as well. But for today I used some gold in the background and some purple cardstock for the for you. So here's all our techniques today. Try using just two layers and a rainbow background. Use all the layers with a nice soft stenciled background and then try one for a stencil for your card. I hope you got some inspiration out of this and we'll try this with your layering dies. I thank you so much for stopping by today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with more card making inspiration soon. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.